Hey, this video is crazy. I actually was able to get out to a course and film something that you'll see tomorrow, yesterday. And then the course is so good that I had to stay and play the second round, so I didn't end up filming this. I have an hour and 25 minutes to finish packing, cleaning up here. And if I'm able to do that, we're gonna see me try to throw some bombs at the end of this video and see if these discs will get me to 500. Frankly, to answer the title, these discs are gonna be the discs that get me over 500 feet. I honestly kind of think it's almost inevitable, which I know sounds like a little cocky, but I think um, I've actually started going to a trainer who fo who is a certified strength and conditioning coach who focuses on speed and power development. He's actually Eagle McMahon's trainer as well. So I'll have some content about that later. I've been going for a couple weeks, seeing some like my muscles get used in the right movements, which is fun. I've also seen my distance continuously go up. I haven't gone to a field and tried to rip max distance. And frankly, I probably won't try to throw too many today, even if I can, because I, I am going to be playing in Waco a week from today. <laughs> and it'll be the third day of the tournament. And I'll be trying to make cuts. Like I don't want to do anything that's too risky. And I heard Calvin talking about why he doesn't do distance contests, so flying out in like three hours. And so I'm determining what discs are going to come with me to Waco and Austin. But we're also going to be talking about the distance drivers today. So here's montage backing up, and then we'll talk about what I'm going to be throwing for distance drivers, why it's not going to be some of the ones back there. Doing all this like travel in planes and stuff, honestly, I think is exciting. But especially for not really having a fully finalized bag and knowing how many backups of whatever I need. stuff because I'm actually gonna be getting a shipment of this as well which I'm pumped about. Don't even know if I need these but I'll bring them. I have one rally so I don't need more of those. <laughs> Couple conquerors baby. These Erica Stinchkin Pharaohs are some of the best feeling Pharaohs man. A couple of those just as the backups and we'll see if we even need them. Got some new glow intervals. Okay lots of emperors. I think we got a good amount of backups here. I don't have too many putting putters. I only have six total, including some of my throwing ones that are putting putters. I won't have a basket at my Airbnb, so I figure five is more than enough to have in my hands and, and putt. No. Uh, I think I'm gonna need to put my clothes in this guy and my disc golf stuff in the big one. First, as the honorable mentioned, at the end of last year, this is what my bag had looked like. I had my understable destroyer, which was an Echo Star Destroyer. And I was basically all destroyers. I had a Pharaoh as well, but didn't actually end up throwing all that much and just turned into the Destroyer Show, which feels good. The 12-speed rim feels good. The Pharaoh, I think, does fly a little farther as it is a 13-speed, and the wider rim does keep it in the air a little longer. And then we had kind of a straight, neutral, understable Destroyer here. Big shout out to my buddy Greg, we went and died that. Probably one of my Shatterband 2.0 Destroyers, don't quite remember. A Ducker Destroyer for just a nice flat forehand guy. And then my overstable one was this Calvin Destroyer, which is not gonna be the most overstable disc in my bag anymore, because I threw a part of it than I did at the end of last year, and this was more than enough beef, and now I kinda can, they're not gonna fight out as much as I need them to. The other honorable mention, and these are really the only two other ones that I had considered for this slot, are the Strive and the Pharaoh. If you guys wanna check it out, I'll link a video probably up here, maybe I'm gonna forget, who knows. I'm gonna be editing this on a plane, more likely, so. Uh, maybe in the air, but we'll see. But the Shrike and the Strive and the Pharaoh, but these guys are very similar. Shrike, not quite like a Pharaoh, a little bit different, comfortable, actually feels a little smaller, slightly in the hand. The Strive by Latitude 64 is a great contender. I love this disc. I'm excited for the Tour Series run that's gonna be coming out from somebody soon. But the Strive here is very understable, very similar to these, but seems to have a little bit extra glide. It seems to be slightly more comfortable, maybe in the hand, but only really comes in one plastic. And I need something that starts out in a couple plastics and gets to different levels of beat in. And the plastic is really good, but it's not super varied. And so this is a disc that I definitely consider bagging and probably would bag if I was on Latitude or Dynamic or Westside or whichever ones you're allowed to throw it with. Just not a lot of production. And also I can run less stamps. And as you guys have known throughout this whole entire series, a big part of all this for me is that being sponsored by Infinite, like my bag is going to reflect things that are financially beneficial for me. And I think everybody's bag does to a certain extent, who's like on the pro scene. And obviously like there's really good discs, but those discs turn into discs that uh, can be financially beneficial, which is basically how my bag has turned out is stuff that I've chosen for tour series and for other things like that are discs that I know I really love and that are really good. I am biased. Everybody in disc golf is biased. Don't build your bag off me unless you don't have any other ideas of how to build a bag and you want to build your bag like me so you know that it's like, hey, maybe this isn't the best thing, but whatever, it'll be fun. Or if you throw similar to me and you like these molds, test stuff out. Don't buy extra discs if you don't need to, unless they're Midas. Then go to the first link in the description and buy them all.
All right, I gotta pack. And then I'm, I think we'll be able to get to a field. Even if it's for five minutes, 10 minutes, just to rip some drives and see if we can throw in 500 before we leave Colorado. Cause I'm honestly genuinely interested. I have literally no idea what's in the house. It could be a complete mess. I'm so genuinely interested to see if I do throw farther at sea level. I know the mid flight gets accentuated. There's a little more glide. I just don't know if I'll actually throw farther necessarily. If we get to Waco and I'm throwing 500 foot golf lines, well, no, I do because yesterday at this course, I'll show you a video of a hole that I'm talking about. And after I played this round, I went and played a second round myself. It's obviously unverifiable because there's no camera on it. And so I could be lying, so but low. actually there are people who are there. So if they're watching this at all, they can verify. I don't know who they are, but I was playing through them. But it's, I ranged it like 465, 470 up a hill and there's a slight headwind and I pumped my Faro and I literally parked it like three feet, four feet past the basket on like a beautiful golf line. So I feel like I got 450 to 470 in a golf line, which is really good going into Waco. I feel like I'll be able to play most of the holes, but I'm rambling now because I don't want to do this, but I'm going to do this. Just kidding, I didn't want to do this. I'm so excited to go. Weird that we have a blurred face in our apartment. It's literally just a joke at this point. It's not like she doesn't want to be on camera, but like... So I think I need to actually check, or not check that, but carry that on and carry on my camera bag. I have backups and discs. And jeez, 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 jeez. 22, oh no. It's like 23 by 23 by 13. Hopefully we're fine. If you see that I have a bag in Texas, you know, we were good. But let's take a quick look, because this is kind of my actual bag. Not sure quite which ones, because obviously I have to get to Texas and figure it out, but everything above a 10 speed. And it's honestly pretty simple. We got, ooh, actually not all of them in here. Pharaoh, Iblen Pharaohs, 171. I like them kind of like the 169 to 172 class, just because they tend to be nice and flippy out of the box, but still like hook up late because they are pretty fast. They're 13 speed, that's why I like this over something like a Maya or like a flippier 11 speed. And so, Pharaoh is in the bag. I also have another Pharaoh. So, a massive shout out to Surface of Flight for dying this for me. This looks incredible. It's pretty flippy, honestly. So, I might need one that's a little more stable. So, I brought some, brought another one of this run of these. This one looks like one of the flippier ones from that run. And then I also brought some Erica Sinchcomb Halos, which feel kind of the best for Pharaohs. They're just like slightly better, just a little more like easy to hold and grab onto. Next is the finish line disc interval. This disc, you guys know, I've been throwing for a while, loving it. It is very neutral, kind of like my Wraith style disc. I can like hyzer flip it if I need to. I can throw long panning high turnovers. Can't really throw low turnovers because it is like neutral too understable now that I've beaten it in. I have a glow one that I'm hoping is a little more stable and I brought another one as well that I'm excited about. But this disc is also really good for my forehand because it like pushes on my hyzer forehands. These ones will flip a little bit. This one I can throw on hyzer or flat and it'll just glide out there and, and finish. And so I threw like a, a nice solid 370 foot forehand with this yesterday, 375 or something. And that was money, kind of mostly hyzer, like flat to hyzer. So forehand's coming back and then Second to last, we have Emperors, which is the Destroyer mold. Snag Emperors instead of Destroyers, it's a way cooler name. But I have an Iblend Emperor here, which this one has actually finally been beating in. So I've been throwing them on big turnover lines and it's been holding for a long time before it fights out. Really liking this disc. It's very, very domey. So I'm not really liking it too much for the forehand. I can definitely forehand it, but I prefer something like these S-Blend swirly ones that are a little flatter that I can just like chop over on forehand. And like if I want something to pan and then finish, not really fight out of it fast. And on the backhand, I can throw some like some Anheusers, which sometimes having a flatter disc is nice for Anheusers because if it fits higher in your hand, then it's easier for my body to like compensate and throw a hyzer. Whereas if it's a little flatter, I can kind of rip it out there a little easier than something that's a little domier, which I'm not 100% sure why, but probably will have one of these in the bag. And then an overstable one, this Halo one, really nice wind fighter, but still not as overstable as I need. So in one of these bags, I also have Conquerors, which are the PD2 mold. And that's what I'm gonna be bagging for my super overstable guys. They are really nice, really beef. Don't really need them much here, mostly ever. It's not really long enough holes that I need them on because I have like the cap wraps and I have some, just a little more hyzer, a little more touch, a little more spin control with these uh, emperors. But having that conquer for Texas is gonna be really good. So I bought two of those. Swirly ass blend ones, very, very overstable. The purple ones are the most overstable. There are some of those still on my side as well with the stamp, but if you guys wanna wait probably another week or so, we'll have a new stamp on there if you wanna snag a couple of my discs or just the new stamp or nothing at all. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see if we're able to get to a field. I kinda doubt it, but uh, yeah, this has been a little crazy, but really good and really fun, so. All right, we made it out to the field just in time. It is 11.06, so I gotta get home in like 10 to 15 minutes. A bunch of discs out there from 
quorming up all distance drivers that I will be bagging. And we're gonna range the 500 feet to that uh, goal. I brought all these out as well as some other intervals, pharaohs and emperors, no conquerors, because that's unnecessary. And we're gonna see if we can get one to that goal. We do actually have a tail one right now, which should be beneficial, but I'm stressed and tired because I gotta get to the airport in like 45 minutes. I'm gonna keep moving back till we get to 500 feet. That way I don't have to range. We can just see if it's close. Okay, 500, 503 to the post. My like optimal disc golf shoes are already packed away. So we just gotta focus on getting this nose down. Good weight transfer. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 shots at it. All right, good luck to me. We're gonna start out with this new interval. I honestly think I'm probably gonna throw max 450-ish today. Ah, that was ugly. I gotta tighten these shoes up. That was really ugly. Throwing for max distance is kind of crazy. I also think, like your max distance sometimes isn't that far off from like your golf distance, especially if you don't train for max distance. So maybe I can throw farther if I train for it, but I'm just trying to rip a good golf distance. So my max shots aren't even that crazy. Oh no! Get out of it! I think I just lost my interval. Oh, that was shanky. I'll see if I can get that back because that's like my interval, it's in my bag. All right, Pharaoh time. That one did seem like it was ripped. I wanna see how far that house that I basically hit is, like 480. So it could have been down there. Try to get some better shots. This is a good win. Leave him out a little more left. That could do it. If it turns, oh, it's not gonna turn for me. Shoot. That one's down there, but not down there enough. Oh, what is that drop? No chance, dude. <sighs> what am I doing with my life? Right, another Admiral Pharaoh. I really hope I can get those back. <laughs> Hit the fence. Thank God. <sighs> All right. I'm definitely shanking them too much. I'm trying to get this max distance. So you know I don't practice this. <sighs> there we go. Flex out of it. Ah, not high enough in the tailwind. Oh, we got our emperors left. Oh, now I'm nervous, I'm not even gonna get those back. That's good. Get there. Ah, oh, the wind died. I don't think it's there, but it's pretty big. Couple S plane guys. That's not higher. It's nice and those down though. I'll get a full flex. These are like basic, these are like max distance golf shots. I'm not even getting them in the air. Two more. I don't think I know how to throw for distance. I also think I'm not trusting these shoes. Last chance. Stay back in the throw. Big rip. Ah, <sighs> two nose up. Dang, well. Not even close, as is to be expected. Are there more? Oh no, it's just my back. We will range back to that and see how far we got. I'm gonna guess our max is not in someone else's yard. It's like 465, so. Okay, so I set up, I set up my bag way back there, and I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think I threw one 500 feet. <laughs> I didn't expect it, but I think one of these Anheuser's, well, that is way too. I think one of these Anheuser's is over 500. This is a pretty shorty right here. This Emperor, a little Halo guy, that was the last one that I threw. 435, not too crazy. The ones that are in this yard, I really hope I can get back. But I'm walking up here, and this is the, the thing. And we have Emperor here, flat one. I think that's an Emperor out there. Oh, that might actually, oh, that might have been, that's from my other thing, okay. That's good to know. But this Emperor right here, right here, I think it's not quite there. But I think it's gonna be a new personal best. Oh man, 492, 492. So I think if I stayed out here and got an actual good throw with one of my Pharaohs, I think I'm hitting 500. I think it's happening, but not today. Looks like we might have to retest in Texas. See if we can rip one out there because I think I got five bills in the bank. Emperor eye blend for the other video, 495. 494. Jeez, that's far. So I think the, the eye blend emperor is gonna be the disc that gets me there. Oh man, I gotta see if I can freaking trespass or something. You do? I'm so sorry about that. No problem. <laughs> My bad, thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, they were far. They were 480, 490. What a good guy though. And I got him back. People are my favorite. And I think I'm still missing 
one. Oh, one Iblin Emperor, the Iblin Pharaohs, I mean. If I get it out here, oh, thing, it's a little short, but it's not quite in line. So the actual carry distance might be 500. Wow, 469, nothing crazy. So we didn't quite reach 500, but at this point, I'm tired. I've had two nights of bad sleep in a row. I'm stressed about getting out here. I'm still throwing in the 460 to 490s. And I think my golf lines, since that Pharaoh didn't really even turn too much, are kind of 450 to 470. So I think I have the chance to compete if I can be consistent. This has been crazy. I gotta go to the airport. Thank you for watching. I'll leave you with uh, one emperor throw, or two emperor throws on the way back. Why not? Hopefully, we don't throw them into people's yards that are way over there. Okay, 430 to the bag. We're going in a slight headwind. So, throw two island emperors. I think I got it. I just, I haven't done this max distance test and I don't want to throw my arm out and I gotta go travel. And so, ah, it's not even drifting. Don't you dare. Thank God. <laughs> Holy cow. Okay. Last one. Let's actually turn this one. I thought the head one would turn that more. This one's a little more beat in, but. Oh, that's a burner. If it flexes though. Ah, too low. I parked it. I think I almost literally hit the bag. You're just kind of accurate. It's like exactly at 430 and I'm right over my bag. Emperor, literally parked. Into slight headwind. This one, 456, 458. So definitely added some distance before my season started. Super stoked about that. Maybe it'll happen in tournament in Waco with all that tournament juice. We'll see. Love you guys. See you soon. Bye.